want the land, the water and the trees, not a tomb, chanted thousands of Greeks marching in support of the local community in the Skouriès region of Halkidiki in northern Greece. The environmental impact of gold mining in the 317,000 square kilometer region is severe, say the protesters. There is almost a gram of gold in every ton of soil in the area. Hundreds of thousands of tons of earth will have to be dug out, cutting through a protected natural forest, then chemically processed using arsenic, cadmium and other toxic chemicals. These will irreversibly damage local agriculture and fishing and pose a grave health risk for the entire region, as a gigantic cloud of dust looms over it and toxic damps are built to house the processed soil. We spoke to activist and mathematics professor Antonis Vadulakis from the Aristotelian University in Thessaloniki, Greece's second largest city, only 100 kilometers from the region in question. In the ancient forest of Skouriès, a hole measuring 700 meters wide and 350 meters deep will be dug after they cut down the trees, half of which they already have. Tons of explosives will be used to excavate the area and the toxic cloud and mud will poison the region beyond repair. Apart from people's health, this will affect local tourism, businesses and above all, land and sea farming. 95% of the gold mine in Skouriès belongs to Canadian multinational company Eldorado Gold and 5% to Hellas Gold, a private company owned by Fotis and George Bobolas, Greece's construction tycoons and media moguls. Astoundingly, the Greek state owns 0% royalties in the gold mines in Skouriès and another three regional gold and silver mines. Furthermore, in 2011, the Greek government was the intermediary for the transfer of ownership between the current and former owner companies for a mere 11 million euros. In 2011, the European Commission fined the Greek government 16 million euros for the transfer of the mines to Hellas Gold, saying the cheap transaction was against Greece's financial interests. In an unprecedented move, George Papakostadinou, then the Minister of Environment, protected Hellas Gold by appealing against the decision. Greece sold the mines for crumbs. Now the companies will excavate 46 tons of gold per year, worth 12 billion euros, and the bankrupt country will see none of it. This gold will end up in a vault in Switzerland or the US and locals will be digging the earth for 500 euros per month. The gold mining project in northern Greece is fast becoming one of the most controversial stories in the crisis-stricken country. The protesters here say the project will not bring financial prosperity in the local community up in northern Greece, nor will it increase the cash flow into the state coffers. This is Kostin Venizelos for Press TV in Athens.